We are seeking a most attractive and seldom seen species of lizard, the western banded gecko, Colonix variegatus. We are in its territory. We are looking at the just right time and place to find these geckos. We score! The Anza Borrego State Park is a famous site for finding this critter. In some respects, the lizard does not fit into our usual thinking about how reptiles live in the desert. It cannot handle direct sun, dry days, and intense 100 degree plus temperatures very well. So it spends most of its time in rodent burrows hidden underground or in dense shady places or under rocks during the day. Feeding, foraging, and mating occur in the early hours of the evening when it's warm in the 80s and 90s and more moist. They hibernate in the winter months. Their smooth skin is a premi color, generally matching the surface of the soil where they lived. Marked with bands and blotches, they are stunningly beautiful. The banding is brighter on juveniles and dulls as they get older. However, this is less the case in California. So their bellies are translucent, so you could see the eggs in an egg-carrying female. This species has seven subspecies living in the deserts of the southwest, from southern Utah to the tip of southern Baja California, and from the California coast over the mountains through the deserts to the eastern border of Arizona. According to my field guides, we are in an area where the desert subspecies is located. However, the picture in the field guide looks exactly like the San Diego banded subspecies. We have identified this specimen to its species level as a western banded gecko. So, on this night we found a gecko that looks like the San Diego subspecies, whose habitat area is the mountains, chaparral, and coast to the west, in an area that is predominantly desert subspecies. In my opinion, this is one of the most attractive species of reptiles I've ever seen. Driving the roads of the desert at slow speeds in the evening is a great nature adventure.